According to NFPA 13, a cloud ceiling refers to any horizontal ceiling system installed in a single plane with open gaps to the structural elements above on two or more sides. In the 2016 edition of NFPA 13, cloud ceiling requirements were officially added to the standard, introducing allowances that permit sprinklers above the ceiling to be omitted. In this video, we'll examine how omitting sprinklers above the cloud ceiling can affect the coverage area of the sprinklers installed below. In the 2025 edition of NFPA 13, the requirements for cloud ceilings are outlined in Section 927. These provisions allow for sprinklers above the cloud ceiling to be omitted under certain conditions. While some of these criteria are straightforward, the real complexity emerges when applying Table 9271, which addresses the coverage area of sprinklers installed below the cloud ceiling. In this table, the maximum sprinkler protection area is determined by two key factors, the minimum width of the ceiling panels and the ratio of the gap width to ceiling height. It's important to note that this ratio must be calculated using inches for the gap and feet for the ceiling height. For example, where the maximum gap is half a foot and the cloud ceiling height is 12 feet, the value of x, the ratio of gap width to ceiling height, will be 0.5. That's because half a foot equals 6 inches, and dividing 6 by 12 gives us the correct result. Once we calculate the value of x, we can use the first row of table to determine the sprinkler's maximum coverage area. For instance, if the ceiling panel dimensions are 3 by 5 feet, the minimum width is 3 feet. Based on this, the maximum coverage area allowed for the sprinklers installed below the cloud ceiling is 225 square feet. It's important to note that the coverage area determined from Table 9271 must be compared against the maximum coverage limits allowed for light and ordinary hazard classifications, as outlined in Chapter 10 of NFPA 13. The smaller of the two values should be used as the final threshold for the coverage area of sprinklers installed beneath the cloud ceiling. For example, if the room we reviewed falls under the Ordinary Hazard Occupancy Classification, we must refer to Chapter 10 of NFPA 13 and use the maximum coverage area of 130 square feet, rather than the 225 square feet allowed by the cloud ceiling table. Table 9271 contains two hidden limitations that are easy to overlook. First, if we examine the width values listed for cloud ceiling panels, none fall below 2 feet. Second, when reviewing the range of X values, no options exceed 1 inch per foot. These omissions signal that in both cases, panel widths under 2 feet or X values above 1 inch per foot, the table does not permit cloud ceiling allowances to be applied. Therefore, the option to eliminate sprinklers above the cloud is no longer valid, before we wrap up this section, let's review a few remaining requirements. NFPA 13 mandates that quick response sprinklers be used beneath cloud ceilings. If standard spray sprinklers are applied, their maximum spacing must conform to the limits specified in tables 10 a and b. For extended coverage sprinklers, the spacing must not exceed 16 feet. And finally, Perhaps most importantly, if the distance from the sprinkler deflector to the structural ceiling remains within the allowable limits, the sprinkler may be installed below the cloud ceiling regardless of whether that ceiling meets other cloud-specific criteria. In such cases, there is no need to install a sprinkler above the cloud ceiling. In this section, we'll use the Cloud Ceiling tool in NSV CAD software to identify the requirements for proper sprinkler placement. The layout includes all relevant dimensions clearly marked for reference. When we run the application, a window appears prompting us to enter three key values, the gap width, the minimum dimension of the ceiling panel, and the ceiling height. Once these are entered, the software calculates and displays the relevant NFPA 13 requirements based on the input. 
I hope you find this video helpful. You can download the software from nsvsoft.net 